Hi everybody, I wanted to go over how to work in the priority mode. So that's shutter priority and aperture priority. So I'm referring to my top dial, my exposure mode dial. We've been working in the P mode, the program mode, for the last couple weeks. So we're going to start working in the shutter priority mode and the aperture priority mode. So in shutter priority mode, that means that the shutter is a priority over the aperture, and you have control of the shutter speed, camera will control the aperture to give you the correct exposure. So I'm on shutter priority, TV on the Canon camera, it's gonna be S on all the other cameras. If I hit my shutter button, wake up my camera, and then I'm gonna be using my top dial here, I can look at the back screen, press my shutter button, that gives me my aperture. So my shutter speed is a tenth of a second, my aperture is F14. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate my command dial so that I change my shutter speed, which as you can see is now automatically changing the aperture. When that happens, and you see that blinking number, that means it's no good. It's going to be totally overexposed, and I could keep going this way, it's still gonna be overexposed. I need to go back this way so that I get a solid number in there that's not blinking or flashing at me, and then I could use any of these settings any of this combination of shutter speed and aperture, this would give me correct exposure, depending on what I was looking for in terms of depth of field and or blurring or freezing motion. If I keep going in this direction with my shutter speeds and my shutter speeds are getting faster, eventually I'm gonna end up back to that blinking uh, aperture number again. So we need to stay within this range in here and we're all good. Okay, so just make sure that you watch out for the blinking number on the Canon cameras, on the Nikons, it might say high or low. There might be some other indication of number turning red in some of the other model cameras. So that's the uh, shutter priority mode. Let's take a look at aperture priority mode. So that on the Canon camera is the AV. It's gonna be plain old A in Nikon and um, Sony, Panasonic, etc. So again, I'm just gonna hit my shutter button, wake up my back screen, and I've got some settings there. I'm gonna rotate my command dial here, and that's gonna change my aperture this time. If I hit my shutter button lightly, that'll make my shutter speed show up, and it will show me what aperture, if I choose my aperture of 5.6, what shutter speed goes along with that. In this case, you're not gonna find any blinking or flashing numbers. There's plenty of shutter speeds to match up with an aperture for whatever light quantity you've got in front of the camera. What you need to watch out for here is that you don't get a shutter speed that's gonna to be too slow to hand hold in your situation. Okay, but any of these settings here would be perfectly fine to work with, uh, depending again upon hand holding versus a tripod. So aperture priority mode is a little bit easier than shutter priority mode. Uh, just keep in mind what you're doing for each one. In shutter priority mode, you're controlling the shutter speed, the camera's controlling the aperture, and in aperture priority mode, you're controlling the aperture, camera's controlling the shutter speed. That's about it. Thanks.